the week three of Lizzie's Farm Kitchen at the Sustainable Co-op. And this week we have a whole bunch of stuff and um, we're going to start out with some unusual things. We have uh, fennel and one thing that you can do with this frondy part is you can just chop up the tops and you can put it in salad dressing it or sprinkle over um, potatoes or you can actually roast or grill the fennel. Put olive oil on it and it's delicious. Or just shred it in any slaw. Like you can make a cabbage slaw and put all the fennel in or just a little fennel or a straight fennel. And then the other thing we have this week is new potatoes. And I just wanted to talk to people about new potatoes. New potatoes means it's early in the season and the skin is so tender you can't even wash it. We can't even wash the potatoes on the farm without the skin coming off. So that's why they kind of look like that. But this is a perfect time of year for plain steamed potatoes because it's just they're so delicious right now and the way we eat it on our farm is we just steam them butter and salt that's easy done um and then we have uh, radishes in the box and a lot of people are like what do you do with radishes well one thing that people need to know about the radish tops and the turnip tops you don't have to compost them you can stir fry them do whatever they're kind of like a mustard green so if you like mustard greens you'll like the tops Okay, and so today we're going to make crudité, which is a fancy French word for raw vegetables with a dip. Okay, um, so what we're going to do is I just took the turnips. Oh, and the other thing about turnips, too, is you can mash them like mashed potatoes. So just steam them and mash them with butter, but don't add um, milk because they're, um, they're already watery enough, so it'll just be too watery. So that's a great thing you can do. So I just slice the turnips, put them on the plate. The radishes, I just rinsed them, put them on the plate. The other thing you can do with radish, which is also very French and so delicious, just slice them and put them on bread with butter and salt and pepper. Or if you have brie, you could do brie instead of the butter on your baguette. It would be delicious. Okay. And then the other thing we're going to put on our crudité plate is a cucumber. And everyone knows about cucumbers, but I'm going to show you my fast and furious way of doing cucumbers. It's a little one extra step. I just peel them super fast. I peel them, I cut them the long way, and I take my spoon. See if I had Julia Child, I have men down on the floor here. They'd be <laughs> handing me things. That's how she did it. She had all these men on the floor serving her as Where it should the be. Men? Then you just take the seeds. I like to take the seeds out. So just scrape them out in your compost. We have pigs, so they get to eat it, but. And then I just cut them in nice long spears like that. Easy. And then put them on your crudité plate. Okay. And then we're going to make the dip. So easy. With, and we're using all kinds of stuff from the box. Here's my handy food processor. And I had my little man peel the garlic. So easy. Whenever I make pesto or... Um, Anything like that, I always put the garlic in plain first, and it just works so well. It just chops it up. So, garlic, mince, done. We also have green onions in the box, so if you want, or onions, you could chop off part of that, throw it in if you like that flavor. Then, you're going to take your parsley, if you have it, chop up a little bit, processor. Basil, if it's in your box. See, every box is different, but eventually you're going to get all this stuff. So you can use basil or parsley or one or none or whatever you have. This is kind of like a green goddess dip, but, but not really. Put that in then. Before I put the liquid stuff in, blend it. Okay. Then you can take your sour cream or your yogurt, whichever you want to use. Or sour cream and yogurt. Usually I do that, but I only have vanilla yogurt. That's not going to work. Put that in there. It's going to be so good. Your lemon juice. Just a little bit. So we don't measure here at Lizzie's Farm Kitchen. Because who <laughs> has time for that? We are busy women. And we don't have time for measuring. Okay, the salt. Put it in. I think it's going to need more sour cream. This is going to be so good. Then, the other thing about this um, dip recipe 
is if you want to add milk or um, buttermilk, you could thin it out and it would be a dressing. So that is an awesome thing to do. Okay, I'm just kind of going fast here, but should have made a little more, but that's okay. That's going to be so good and garlicky and lemony. And there you have it, your instant coup de tay plate.